Hi Overwatch Practice Group, this is Viper759 and this video is going to cover how you can do tank positioning practice. So we're going to go to play and then game browser and then create a custom match. And I'm going to load up my pre-existing preset and we'll go over the settings we have here. Okay, so in the lobby you're going to have two people on two players on team one. Uh, on team two, one player. You don't want to swap teams after match. For maps, you're going to hit none and then use Assault Volskaya Industries. Just turn that one to on. So for heroes, we're going to go to general. Um, a few things here. You're going to set your health to 500% on all heroes. And you're going to set damage received to 50% on all heroes. And then on Zarya specifically, you're going to set damage dealt and damage received for Zarya to 10% because we'll be using Zarya. And that's all our settings. So now for the AI. We're going to add on the red team a Reaper. Oops. Uh, medium works fine. Reaper for the red team. Or team 2. And on blue team we are going to add a Soldier. Medium as well. So the purpose of this is that any team fight, um, you want to position yourself between their damage and your damage to absorb as much as possible and allow your damage to peek out uh, or at least have some cover to go in between. Now with a Reinhardt shield, for example, it's got 2,000 health, but it eventually goes down. At that point, it is your HP and your healers, for example, having a Zenyatta orb on you that is also acting as a shield. Our D.Va has defense matrix. Uh, Zarya has her bubble. Specifically, we're going to be using Zarya in this case, um, the one that we set up. But the idea is from a positioning point of view, you have to get in the mentality of making sure that you are between the DPS, your DPS and their DPS. Because after you do that, then your DPS can start to use use that to peek out and um, you know hit them. And if the healers are only having to heal the main tank and off tank and not having to try to heal the DPS as much and things like that, um, they can, one, help a little bit on the damage output of the fight, depending on your healer, um, and they can, two, more importantly, be able to um, absorb a lot more of the enemy damage, which, if you have shields or armor as a, as a tank, that's really useful. Um, as a Reinhardt, if your if your Reinhardt's constantly able to, is a Reinhardt, you know you'll be able to do this. And then, not only are you swinging your hammer, you have someone shooting from behind you. So our Reaper will be here shortly. So the reason why you choose choose Soldier is he has tracers. And one of the things you want to get used to as a tank is watching the tracers that are coming from around you. Uh, specifically, okay. So let me get here. I want to be in between Reaper and Soldier, and I can see Soldier's kind of back behind me because of the tracers. Now you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm positioned in such a way that Reaper shots will hit me and not Soldier's. Now this is an AI Soldier. He's not really trying to be cooperative, but this is good. It's forcing me to really think and do my best on this. Um, with players, obviously, since we have a practice video for DPS positioning, if both the DPS and the tank do this, uh, it can be very effective. And because you can, you know, hit the Reaper with some Zarya damage here. The other thing is by doing this, uh, it allows some more advanced techniques like getting your Zarya damage up while your team doesn't, not wiping your team, um, uh, or your energy up. And you can do some very advanced things with Reinhardt and Zarya shield swapping once everybody is used to this concept. You can see I'm occasionally also shield bubbling my soldier. And the reason for that is I just as a thing I would normally do inside a match. But he's moving around quite erratically and sometimes just having to jump in and 
you know, try to save them. But this is actually what happens in a team fight to a degree. Your DPS moves around kind of erratically. You have to keep track of where they are. Um, like right there, you kind of circle striped around me. And yeah, you can see here, the goal you should have is soldier's health bar should not go down by much at all. The, the you know, you're obviously, if you can get to a point where soldier's taking no damage, you're doing this absolutely right. Because the idea is as soon as you lose positioning on the Reaper, um, you know, where you're not taking damage, you use the bubble to protect the soldier. So like, if I lose the Reaper, all right, I'm still got him right now. Let's say, okay, I lost Reaper. Bam, I'm going to use Bubble and Soldier, and then I'm going to reacquire. In a, in a real fight, you have to choose your target priority. So if you have a May and, say, a Soldier that's in your fight, the May is the target priority because she's the closer range damage and the bigger threat and the one you want to get in front of. Um, if you have a Reaper and, a, and, I don't know, a Torbian or something, the Reaper is actually a bigger threat. Um, obviously because shotguns in close range and so you want to really you know do that now, as you do this you can now start also working on your firing Azaria and there I kind of felt like I was losing track of my soldier so I just immediately bubbled him um, in this case because Now this is much harder than it'll be for players because, like I said, players will actually be sane. But if you do this for about five minutes a day, you'll build your spatial or your your movement ability up to track, you know, where your DPS is. You get used to looking at those rounds going um, and seeing, oh, hey, this is where Soldier is. This is what I need to do. So and you'll get used to if your DPS, like Soldier, right there, hopped in front of me, I immediately bubbled him. Because he is faster than me, but by being aware of his positioning, I can do that. If he's getting into a spot where I can't cover him, I can immediately bubble him. And that can be the difference between winning and losing a team fight is your bubbles, Azaria, or your Reinhardt shield. Um, you know, th those abilities can really be the difference there. So that covers this practice video. And like I said, just do that for about five minutes a day, and you'll be, you know, you'll get. Uh, you get really good at your positioning over time. Well, I hope this video was useful to you guys, and thank you for watching.